So I think if I only had one message that I could give you ever, it would be this one. Really, really, truly, I've believed this for so long, is that we are so much more than what we appear, you know, what we see in each other. We're these beautiful souls that come here, as Judy says, in people suits. But we're infinite beings with light. We are light. We really, really are. If you break down everything in your body, that's what's there is these light. But I'm talking even deeper than that. At your soul level, that's who you are. When all of this body goes away, and it will, that's what will be left, is the shining light. And when we can start to see it in each other, our world will be different. I know that's true. It seems like these years that we've spent together, it started off as bodies talking to each other, right? You know, just, and then it's like, I see you now, and I swear to God, I see lights. It makes me almost want to cry because, um, I want to see you all the time, right? And if we remember that, if we just remember that when we all disperse and go our ways and we always remember that one truth, that you are this infinite field of God, you are the infinite field of awareness that knows everything that you need to know, that can feel everything that you need to feel. You, you, you have a purpose here. That's my second message, is that you have a purpose. And this isn't even my talk. It just came from the, the music, because I, that music touches my heart, you know? And it reminds me who I am, because boy, I forget, didn't I, this morning, talking came in and I had quite a time this morning, and I forgot. And then I sit down and I hear the music and I remember. And I want you to remember too when the times you get in your head and you're thinking, oh, this life sucks. There's this, this is hard. Why am I doing this? And all of a sudden, you hear some music. Or you, Judy's beautiful. I love that meditation. And, and you feel this warmth. That's who you are. Never, never, never forget that. I was laying in bed when I first decided I would talk about this, I'm talk, I want to talk the next times that we meet, there's not that many, about the things that are the most important, I think, that we need to share with each other. And, and today's message is that, that you are light. But I was laying in bed, and it was um, dark, and it was time to get up, the alarm went off, and I opened the curtains, and there was this just beautiful um, sunset. No, not sunset, sunrise, right? Coming up, and it was orangey, and it was beautiful. And it reminded me, that even though everything appears dark, that the light never goes away. It's always there, right? It was always there. It's with you all the time. It's just that we move away from the dark, or we move away from the light, and we feel the dark. But it's there, because it's inside of us, you guys. It's inside of us, as well as outside. And when all of this collectiveness gets together, and these, our hearts are opened. Boy, what we can do in this world. And that's what you're called to do. See? Even in the darkness, there's a presence within you that you don't see. And sometimes you don't feel it. But it's there. It's there, that light within us. And I loved the reading that Judy said, when we are born, we carry the light with us. When we're born, it comes with us, and it illuminates us. And when we get rid of all of the ego and all of the darkness, we're not going to get rid of the darkness, but when we start to see more of our light, boy, that will be a sacred day. That will be a holy day. That will be when we know we are the light of the world, and when we can acknowledge it in each other. But first, we have to see it in ourselves, don't we? We have to know that we're that light. If you remember one thing about common ground, remember that, that you are powerful lights in this world. And I love what we've been, we've worked for many years with um, Sufi master Llewellyn Von Lee with his books. Actually, we did work with him a little bit too. And uh, a beautiful man. And 
he teaches that our own light, I love this, this kind of picture this, that our own light works with the light of God because it's the same light. Our light is God's light. So when we reach out, when we pray, when we feel that, that warmth, he says that God meets us, our hands meet, and it expands. It expands, and it radiates out to the world. That's how important your prayers, your th good thoughts, remember, your thoughts, good thoughts, do that, that it brings love into the world. He says it's the same light, and we are here to nourish our lights with God's light and bring love and wholeness into the world. That's what we're to do. That's your purpose. Your purpose is to know that you are this powerful, radiant light, that you are God's. Many, you are, are this piece of spark of God, and to nourish it and to spread it out to each other and send love to the world. That's all. That's all. But we can do it. We're made to do it. That's why we're here. That's why you're here, and it's a gift. It's a gift. So, yeah, we go through a lot of junk in life. Boy, we sure do, you know? But we have to remember that we aren't that. Von Lee says that we are in a relationship with love. See? That's what I think God is. Anything else other than pure divine love and that is the basis of our existence. It's who we are, and we can commune with this by just what we did today, by getting quiet, by going within, by touching that heart space and letting it open, by getting out of your head and dropping down here. Wow. To live your purpose. To really do this, though, we got to face our darkness. We can't pretend it's not there because our world is light and dark. That's what this earth is. So to be that light and to feel that light and to see that light in each other, we've got to face our own dark. We're seeing it out in the world. But we've got to see it in ourselves and change it and shine our light on that darkness instead of being a part of it. And that's hard to do sometimes. There's a quote that says something about we have to cleanse the lens of our uh, perceptions, and it's William Blake, and he says, if the doors of perception were cleansed, everything would appear infinite. You would know who you were, but most of us have closed ourselves up till we see through these little narrow lenses, these little narrow lenses, instead of opening up and seeing the love that each other is. And we have the capacity to do it. We were born with the capacity to tap into that light. I wouldn't want to be in a world that I didn't know I had that light because it's a scary place out there. If you don't know who you are, believe it. Know who you are. Because when you do, and when you face your darkness, you can see the wonder, you can see the terror, but you know it's all freedom because of who you are. And that's the true light. The true light is all of it. The true light within you sees it all and loves anyway. So think. Think of the things in your life that you're just really get you. Think of politics. Get you. And then know that your light needs to, to shine on this world. It needs to shine on our country right now. It needs to shine. And as we shine our light, we realize that life is a mystery. We don't get it. We're never going to understand it totally. But we can feel glimpses of the light. It's okay to be with the unknown and not try to control it. I was reading a book um, by uh, Sharon Salzberg that we've worked with, too. And she says that, you know, we live in fear or fixated hope. And I said, what's fixated hope? And she says, fixated hope is when we live, please, please, please make this happen. Our prayers become that, right? And so our whole life is, oh, make this happen. You know, please don't let this happen. It's the same thing as fear, she says. It's like living in fear when you live in fixated hope. And the answer, she says, then, is to go beyond it, to go beyond it. And know thy will be done. 
See, that, that's what I'm talking about is that instead of, please, God, make this happen. Please, God, give us a new common ground building that's all paid for. Please, please, please. You know, let's do this. Okay, it doesn't happen. So it's fear. I'm praying out of fear. Instead of thy will be done, what's next? And that's what we're trying to do is say, what's next? What are we open to next? Thank you, God, for giving me the gift of being here now and not praying for some thing that might happen. Does that make sense? That's what prayer is about. If we stand outside of our fear and open to vast possibilities, we are a field of possibility, of possibility. And when we live that way, we feel our strengths. We feel the flow of the universe, and we know we're connected. When we're in the light, we know we're all connected here. Each one of us, if, if we could get see each other, we'd see these lights going to each other. If we could just kind of get beyond our physical bodies and stuff, we would see this love in this room because vibration speaks. We would see each other, you know, and we would get past personality. I mean, we can't live that way because we have to have personalities, right? But we can know the truth. We can know the truth that you are the essence of God. And boy, when we get that, can you imagine collectively what we can do to this world? And that's what we're called to do. That's what we're called to do. None of us is, knows what's going to happen any, any time. The next minute, we don't know what's going to happen, but we have to trust. And that what's, is what the light is about. The light is about trust. It's about opening up and letting life be life through you and not trying to control it by allowing. Know that where you are serves your personal or serves your evolution. See, we're, anything you're going through right now, I'm going to close here because it's getting late, but anything that you're going through, if you're going through a certain life situation that's difficult, know, just know that it's perfect. It's perfect for your soul's growth. It wouldn't be so. But it's happening. It's true. Whatever you're feeling right now is okay. There's nothing wrong with it. Any feeling. Because it's for you to take your next giant step toward your own personal evolution. And when you do that, you contribute to this world. Wow. So before I close, let's say that together. I'm going to say, my life is perfect for my soul's growth. I want you guys to feel that. My life perfect for my soul's growth. Just remember that when you leave here. Buddha said, be a light unto yourself. And I say, shine it on a world that really needs it. Thank you.